It's back. It's back. Oh, okay, it's back. Everything's fine. Hello. <laughs> I tried to tried to tried to add a source to OBS and it just crashed. That's kind of unnerving. So let's try it again. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We need to draw a map of this cave here. There we go. I'm going to draw a map. We must draw map, 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 map. Let's resume the timer. I guess we just have to draw a map. Um, we'll start the map right here. So from here, we have two different exits, this way and this way. This is going to be so weird to map because of the shift in perspectives. Like maybe OBS isn't the or maybe Trisboard's not the best program to do it, but we're going to try it here. So if we go right. And that leads to here. Another exit out here. I call this... Um, uh, Frank. We'll call this start. We go up from Frank. We get our first branch. We'll call this door. So we enter from the bottom. There's a path leading up through the door. And then this one down to the dungeon. We go up through the door. Then we just get a little nothingness traversal room. And this leads to dog. Okay, I suspect there may be multiple distinct dog potential locations. Like this dog location might be a different dog location than going left here to fight a dog, to find a dog. I think there's going to be multiple different dogs. Let me store dog. Okay, so this is back to the start. So we go left from here. So we end up there, and we can go right. Put that there. And then this is another dog, another dog potentiality. I think it might be multiple dogs that look exactly alike. <laughs> yes, I think. I could be wrong about this. Like, we could be teleporting to the same spot. It's kind of unclear at the moment. And then the dog doesn't always appear either. That's the goofy thing. Like, this screen is two screens away from dog. The dog didn't appear this time. So this is the screen I was just at with dog, but now there's no dog. So we go left. It's a dead end. End. End of dead. End of dead, no dog, so go right. Okay. Dog. So I guess we now try and save scum this dog to map out the paths behind this dog. Dog. 
Okay, no dog. So we go right. Let's save on this screen. Call it dog. Yes. Two screens away from dog. 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 So now if we restore back to dog. Right. Left. No dog. Okay, it seems like if we restore our game <laughs> specifically two screens away from potential dog spawning, then we can unspawn or despawn or prevent the dog from from appearing and travel beyond it. So go left. Dead end. Unless we're in like a loop of temporality. Just a nonsense loop of nothingness. We might be in a nonsense loop of nothingness here. Dog, okay. Dog. Go right. Nonsense loop of nothingness. That's, is this going to be dead end? Dead. So this path beyond the first dog. We start here, go left, go right. First dog, nothing. We go right, go right, go left. Second dog leads to nothing, nothing, nothing. So this entire branch is nothingness. So let's go to this dog up here. And investigate that dog. 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 Okay, we're locked into a dog. We're locked into the dog realm. The realm of dog. We're locked into the dog realm. So let's restore back to dollar. Because dollar's here. Go right. To Frank. Go right, go. Uh, this is two screens away from dog. So let's replace the, the save game of dog. Go forward, go left, dog. Restore to dog. <laughs> Dude, the word dog is losing all meaning. I'm saying dog too. Mm -hmm. Dog. Dog. Can we save scum past this dog? Oh, okay, we made it past the dog. So let's go left. Oh, another mysterious doorway. Door. So you've entered from here. There's a path leading north. There's a path leading down. Up north. Now, I suspect we're going to get dogs soon. Oh, it's man. Uh, we'll call him fellow. It's fellow. Use the flute on the fellow. Use the flute on the fellow. Go beyond the fellow. To another door. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Path leading up. And this is. The trap! Oh, interesting. Oh, the trap! Oh! Oh, we got killed. We got killed, but that's progress. We got killed, but we got progress. Hey, Marty. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. I love the sound in this. It's so good. So very good. Trap. Snack. Load. Load back to dog. All right, so now we have to keep mapping because we have multiple different branches in the path to map here. 
this is saved here. So we want to go forward to potential dog. We want to save scum until dog doesn't appear. Dog appeared. Go back. Go back. We're going to keep keep brute forcing this until dog doesn't appear. Dog appeared. Dog didn't appear. So now we go right. And it's man. Okay. Another instance of fellow. I'm assuming these are separate discrete instances of fellow. The same man can appear in identical looking rooms, but in reality we're in different locations in the dungeon here. Shimmy beyond him, or maybe not. Dog. This is new. Yeah, this is good. Good. We have another potential dog. Another dog. Another dog. Okay. Another branch of the dog to save scum past. Let's go back to dog. This is kind of outrageous. Okay, we gotta get past this first dog. Okay, we got past the first dog. Now go right. Uh... Yeah, use the flute, ah. save here, dog, yes, <laughs> because now there's another dog in the next room, so we need to save scum and get past. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to do it. Okay, he's not there. Let's go left. <laughs> this seems like a very goofy solution. Just randomly keep trying until the dog doesn't appear so you can get past. Seems odd. Dog. It's possible that we're going in circles too. So there's another dog. Let's restore back to the other dog, because there's dog and dog and dog. Okay, dog. And go right from this dog. Another door. I mean, the game comes with a map. I have a map item in the game. I just simply do not have access to the map item that's in the game. Game comes with a map. Dog. Of course dog. Of course dog. It's always dog. All roads lead to dog. All roads lead to dog. Well, well, if two separate doorways we can jump down, this is a terminating path at the trap room with the snake. I guess we try and get past these dogs now. Dog. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Okay, we got past the first dogs. So let's go left. Forward. The next screen is another dog. So we replace that dog with dog. Restore dog. Go to dog. Restore dog. Go to dog. Restore dog. Go to dog. Oh, is this an unsaved scummable dog? Is this the ultimate dog? The final dog boss? 
Have we reached the lair of the dog? Maybe we back up and go forward? We might have found the lair of the dog. Oh, nope, it's not here. Okay. Let's try saving on dog's room. And go left. And dead end. The lair of the dog. Okay, go back. Dog. Can we restore dog two? And the dog disappears. Dead end. Okay. So that's that. Now we restore dog two. I wonder if I can save on the dog's screen and then just restore my game and the dog will disappear. There's dog. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, let's dog one. And then go right from dog one. So now we're here. Go forward. No, 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 no. Got myself. I got my dogs mixed up. Got my dogs mixed up. Okay, from here, we go right. We go forward, we go right. Now we're one screen away from a dog. Dude, this is, this is insane. There's a dog. Let's try testing this. Dog two, replace dog two, restore dog two. The dog has disappeared. Oh, the dog was there all along. He just had temporarily phased out of existence. Okay. That doesn't work. Gotta save scum. All right, the dog's not here, so now we should be able to safely save on dog two. And go left. And go forward. And go right. Into another dog. I don't know about this. really do not know if I'm making any progress. Make sure I map that correctly. So we go left, forward, right. This is where I just died. So we go left, dead end. Go back, right, dead end. Okay. What if this is a procedurally generated dungeon? Load back to dog two. And here we can go right. Got, got it. Go right, go left, dog. Of course it's a bloody dog. Why wouldn't it be a dog? deranged kind of deranged the game was super cool up until we <laughs> started doing this nonsense this is kind of getting out of hand go left go right it's kind of getting out of hand dog yes save scum the dog all right we did it drop the dog to save so we can explore the branches beyond the dog. Left, right. Dead end, dude. Okay. Store. Dog two. Go right. Left. <gasps> it was worth it. Oh my god. Goodness, dude! Oh, I was just about to give up hope. Door. 
I was just about to give up hope. Door. Open. Door. Please, please, key. The door is unlocked. Progress. Oh my god, what an ugly, disgusting mess that was. So this is the first room. You have to go right, right. Okay, you have to go right, right, forward, left to a dog. And then from this dog, you have to save scum until the dog doesn't spawn. And then go right, left, forward, to a second dog. On this dog, we have to save scum until it doesn't appear. Then we go right, forward, right, left. Then this dog, we have to save scum and then go right, right, left. And then this dog, we have to save scum and then we go right, left. All right, simple. This dark room contains a large wooden structure with three heads on it. Each head looks distinctively like the other without any particular characteristics about it. You can notice that the structures Slightly revealing an outside view. Save. Beyond dog. Not even. No. Uh, I think I. I think that save game was too long. Yep. That's not gonna work. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Save. Let's call it the skull. No. Thirty skull. Okay. Goodbye, map. Hello. Back to the game. This wall is known as the Wall of Heads. Closer look reveals a small ring shaped compartment in each head. Okay. Okay. Uh, take. Hit. open ring shaped compartment in each head uh the dog carrying the head mentioned a ring as well so you probably have to do something with the dog get a ring from it somehow this dungeon room contains a wooden crate with a skull and an unlit candle sitting on its surface there's also a shelf and a ladder leading up into a darkness filled a musty odor. Very strange looking candle. Oh, we got some cutters. Take. Bolt cutters. Oh, can we cut open the, the chains? Maybe we didn't need a key for the girl. Oh, she's free! Okay, uh, you can go run and be free. Get out of my pocket. Get out of my pocket. Go. I freed you. Uh, oh, okay, we freed the girl and she's still in the inventory. How, how bizarre is this? Take the skull. Open the box. This ladder will likely kill us. Let us go up the ladder. <gasps> what is this creature? This The attic is filled with an odor unfamiliar to your senses. There, doorway to the right, with a small sign beside its entrance, which warns miners to stay out. Critter. Critter, critter alert. This creature looks friendly. Looks like a sign. There's a very must odor coming from this doorway. <laughs> Good. Talk. Hello. Creature speaks as he points to a doorway. A game of 21 is played in that room. Bring back the ring. Like a little creature. A little creature. Gamba. Go. What? Instantly. Okay. 
You have thirty dollars left. Enter your bet. Thirty. Which hand is mine? I guess mine's the ones I can see. I've got twelve. He's showing a king. Let's hit. I don't know how to play blackjack. We stand on sixteen. He beat me. I'm I'm broke. Game over. Alright, we're soft locked. <laughs> we're soft locked. Try again. I'll just save scum this. I don't know I don't know like the rules for blackjack or the, the strats. Nine? He's showing a seven. I got a hit on a nine. Seventeen? Let's stand. He bust. Alright, we won. And this is happening now. This is happening now. What? I got the ring. The ring looks like it may be worth the fortune. Let's just give him the ring. They want it. They look friendly. Let's just give them the ring. Ghouls take the ring and examine it closely. They speak. The words outside have been marked on this ring. They give back the ring. Magic word. Cool. Okay. Speak. Speak outside. Words go unnoticed, so let's move on out of here. Oh, we got some little gla graphical corruption. Skull. Uh, did I save it correctly? There we go. Save and reload to uncorrupt the screen, maybe? Speak the words of the ring outside. The words go unnoticed. Put the ring in there. <laughs> You've sprung a trap. And we're in the trap room. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's let's continue exploring first. What? <laughs> I could not comprehend any of that crunchy. She sits looking at her crystal ball, quickly notices you, speaks Madame Timaz, tells all. The room around her is filled with strange web curtains and sheets, obviously used to simulate the eerie atmosphere. Talk. Uh, hello. see an island yes a place called ghost island you must go there boat will take you money he asks but give him none tell him timaz he will run first you must present the ring to the wall of heads okay speak ring Can see no more. Okay. Ring. Sprung a trap. Uh, let's go do this again. Excuse me. Help. I don't think it matters what we say here. I literally cannot make out anything. You can see no more. Hello.
You can see no more, but we didn't get the thing in this save. Ring to that one. The ring fits perfectly into the head as it begins to speak. So that was just like a guess. Just guess the correct, <laughs> correct skull to put the ring into. These puzzles, man. These puzzles. I don't know. The ring fits perfectly into the head as it begins to speak. Where is the forgotten land? Only the room of ghouls know. Give them the ring. They will show. Outside. Strange force carries you outside as those wing words are spoken. Okay, we're outside. Located in the darkness of the forest, you come upon a very old bridge, which provides a passage over the dangerous jagged rocks below. Sorry. Go back. Oh, okay. Just, just, just load. Bridge looks very old. Lantern. The ghouls? The ghouls? Just go. A large hooded figure stands in a small boat up ahead. He appears to be waiting for a customer to take to Ghost Island. Located. In the distance. Well, well, let's go. Seems like a pretty fair price. Boatkeeper's docked. Seems to be waiting for a customer. Okay, go. <laughs> this figure holds out his hand, not saying a word. He appears to be waiting for a toll for his services. I would suggest not trying to stiff him. Well, we know what to do here. We speak the word Timaz. We don't have to pay. This paradise is known as Ghost Island. Filled with tropical plants and beautiful palm trees, the beaches are a perfect vacation spot for ghosts, ghouls, pirates. Save. Ghost. Sign's been here a long time. Palm trees offer the finest and coconuts. I'll take that. Got a coconut. Just an average coconut. Take the sign. I already have a coconut. So okay, 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 okay. Go left. If this paradise wasn't called Ghost Island, it could pass as a great vacation spot with beautiful palm trees, white sandy beaches, and even an extremely large ghost ship. Cool. Uh, looking between the coconut-filled palm trees, a small path is revealed leading to up to a volcano. Volcano? Pirate ship? What's this way? Old beach house here, which looks as though it may be haunted, as you notice the strange shadows and sounds from inside. This way? Whoa! <laughs> Some sort of ghost pirate here. He appears to be digging something up. I wouldn't bother him. These guys don't take kindly to claim jumpers. Look at him go. Hello. Looks very busy and very dangerous. Speak. Hi. Go away. I have no time to kill you. We ship off soon. Smash him. <clears throat> Nothing was damaged. Let's operate the coconut on him. <clears throat> Nothing happens. Take his shovel. Open him. Oh, oh, we opened the coconut? What? Huh? huh? Okay. We we got the coconut broken in half. All right. I guess we've accomplished what needed to be done. Save. Ghost. Yes, I guess. <laughs> this, is, this is a very strange game. This is a very strange game. Things are just happening.
located in the entrance hall, grand staircase winds up into the unknown and a ghost-like creature is floating throughout the room. The girl wasn't a ghost, no. Uh, the girl was locked. She was chained up in a trash bag behind a stone wall. We punched the wall down, grabbed her. We didn't unlock the padlock. We used these bolt cutters to cut the chains. And now she's still in our pocket because... <laughs> I don't know why. Fool, cries the ghost. I've got you now. That he does. Wait, we've seen this before. Recycled footage. I've seen that death before. Starting to recycle footage. Ghost... Okay, so let's... The glass skull, it is. Yeah, that's where it was. The glass skull that I didn't do anything with. Hopefully we're not soft-locked. You might be soft-locked. Can we just walk past it? Okay, we can just walk past it. This must be the kitchen. With its old-fashioned decor and appliances, such as the refrigerator. Probably not plugged. And still containing food. There's also an unusual smell coming from a lady, that's rude, standing in front of the sink with her back towards you. Save. A laddie. Oh, hello. This. This. This, she has flesh teeth. She has flesh teeth. Some of her teeth have been rotted to bone, but she has flesh teeth. And those are flesh teeth. You do not have flesh teeth. Flesh teeth, that's unnatural. <laughs> Dude, this is sick though. Look at this artwork. The chocolate hair, flesh hair. <laughs> This is such a cool game. Flesh teeth, flesh hair. Uh, lady. Hi. Oh! Play again. I think that's a, a brick save. Let's not restore that save. Let's restore ghost. Let's check a different room. Go upstairs. This hall contains two doors and a window up ahead, providing a view of the back of the house. The floorboards and walls are covered with dust. There's a strange musty smell coming from one of the rooms. View the backyard. Door, door. Okay. There's no need for that. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Uh, let's just go left. Bottle. Bottle of rum. Rum equals pirate. Rum equals pirate. Take rum. Rum equals pirate. Bottle of rum. I'm not going to open the rum. Surely we must save the rum for pirate. It's not polite to go snooping around someone else's things, but it is polite to steal their rum. Alright. Okay. Let's go to the other room. <laughs> this place looks as though it's at least a few hundred years old. There's a king size bed with who knows what underneath. That's a skeleton. I know what that is. A large shelf like dresser beside it. Is this Q basic? Oh. 
maybe. <laughs> I don't know what they use to, to to program this. I have no idea. It's cool. That's what I know. Skellington. This bed seems to inhabited by a strange ghost located beneath the bed. Nothing too different. Dusty picture. Strange picture. Okay, let's open the picture. Open the door. Open the window. Open the bed. Open the skeleton. Hit the skeleton. Take the skeleton. Speak. Skeleton. 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 Operate the skeleton. Can we just go to the bookcase? Uh, perhaps use the co open coconut. Why did we get an open coconut? Use the little girl on the skeleton. Give a little toot on the flute. A little flute toot. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go this way. Little flute toot. Little flute toot. Ghost. Let's go into the volcano. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! This path leads up to a very large and hot volcano where there's a small sacrifice area. Seems the natives on this island still use virgins to satisfy the volcano to avoid its eruption. Okay. You look suspiciously like the girl that's in my pocket. Sacrifice stand reveals a woman. She's apparently trying to get free. Volcano could erupt at any time. You look suspiciously like the girl that I'm carrying around in my pocket. Can we speak to you? Hello. Words go unnoticed. Can we hit? Uh, nothing was damaged. Uh, let's operate the bolt cutters. There's a key on you. Let's just chuck the little girl in the volcano. Oh my god! I wasn't serious. <laughs> what? 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 Okay. Did that do anything? What? The... What? The... What? The... What? The... What? What the? What? Oh, we got a new girl. Okay. All right. We've we've upgraded our model of girl. Okay. Oh, oh. What the? Um, 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 uh, um, I don't know about this. This has been a turn of events here that I'm not entirely comfortable with. I, um, okay, okay. Uh, uh, da, da. well, let's go to the pirate ship.
The wooden plank's heavily guarded by a strange fellow. He looks as if he would be best described as a ghost pirate. First mate, perhaps. There's a large pirate ship revealed behind him. It sounds of the ocean in the distance. Would you like some rum? What's this? cries the pirate. I like my rum prepared the tropical way. Okay. Let's put the rum in the coconut. Create a little mixed drink. Here you go. Pirate takes the mixed drink, then prepares to shove off. Okay. What? Let's restore. Let me turn down the CPU cycles to like 300 and try that again because it just blasted through the ending cinematic. Okay. Well, we beat it. That's the end. That's the end. Cycles 300. What was that? Okay. Load. Don't save. Load. Ghost. Um, no, it was a uh, three H's. So maybe we'll be able to read the ending cinematic at this speed. Let's put that in there. Go here. Give him okay let's try this again how is this the ending what is even happening in this dimension of insanity okay let's move on did we even need this girl could we have gotten here with the the eight-year-old girl instead of the upgraded model of girl why did we chuck the little girl into the volcano and take another... Bleh. That is very haunting. Okay. You've escaped. Or have you? Your, it seems your mind is... It still went too fast. I'm going to slow it down even more. We're going to try it one more time. We're going to try it one more time. 100 CPU cycles. I guess we can stop the timer because I beat it. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Okay, okay. Cycles 100. Last half. Let's try this one more time. It's going to take a minute to load. This is fine. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 We did it. We survived. We survived. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
patience. I'm just trying to see the ending. Just trying to see the ending cinematic. That's all I want to do here. I've had to turn the game down to 100 CPU cycles in DOSBox. So it's going to take a minute to load here. All right, it loaded. So now we load our game. Uh, installing inventory. Okay, I'm getting like messages I haven't seen before. So maybe this is the intended game speed. <laughs> maybe this was the intended game speed here. Oh, the mouse barely works. Oh, boy. Go. Hello. Okay, uh, we need to operate the rum on the coconut. We need to operate the coconut on the first mate. Third time's the charm. Let's get the ending. Let's go. It'll take a second to load. <laughs> It'll take a second here. I feel like I've missed things in this game. Like, there's a lot of stuff that just we didn't do anything with. There's a lot of things that we just didn't do anything with. I feel like I've missed stuff. Very mysterious game. There's empty inventory space I never really filled. Like in the, in the dungeon at the start. There's a Swamp Thing skeleton. There's a Swamp Thing skeleton which you just walked right by. There's the lady in the rocking chair with the books. You try to take a book and you die. Maybe we're supposed to get a book somehow. There's the box of noodly snakes. We missed that. Yeah, the dog. <laughs> Probably some intended solution for the dog that I didn't find. We just save scummed right past it because it worked. All right. You've escaped. Bah! Bah! Or have you? Seems your mind is haunting you with thoughts. She speaks. You made me you, uh, thoughts of your aunt. You made me proud. Thank you. Your mind is occupied by thoughts of your aunt. She speaks. You've made me proud. Thank you. Something like that. That was our aunt. Congratulations. Looks as though you've made it out of this horrifying nightmare as you sail away into the darkness on a creepy old ghost ship. Looking back, you have an eerie feeling you're being watched. A faint shadow-like figure can barely be seen back on shore, which appears to be standing next to a cannon while looking through a eyeglass and shouting, Ye pirates never leave me island! A loud cannon is heard from shore. Turn up the cycles. ship is rocking the ship is a rocking don't bother knocking you and the ghost ship begin to sink fortunately you and the girl find a rowboat i missed some text there i think whatever i'm not gonna try again you huff and puff but you're able to row to the base of a large rocky mountain which contains a creepy looking castle high above will you ever escape Find out in the last half of Darkness 3. 256 high resolution VGA coming soon. What an insane game. This game is completely off the rails insane. It 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 was 
deranged. It's so cool though. Like this game is really fun. I just feel like I'm missing things. I feel like I missed something. Why did we sacrifice that girl to the volcano? What was that about? Why was the pirate digging on the ghost island? What was the, the, the flesh tooth chocolate hair lady in the house? What was the rocking chair lady in the dungeon? What was the swamp thing? What was the crystal skull? So many questions. Maybe none of them have answers. Maybe it's just world building. Maybe we're not meant to know everything that occurs. It evokes mystery and wonder of a plot we are not privy to. A land full of strange and horrifying creatures. We're just simply trying to find our way through and get out. And let them go about their creepy, horrible business. But why did we throw a girl into a volcano? Why did we punch down a brick wall? Rescue a girl and chuck her into a volcano. <laughs> For that matter, why'd we cut off a guy's head in the first game? <laughs> These games rule. All right, this is awesome. Welcome to the stream. Last half of Darkness 2. There we go. There you have it. What a fun game. <laughs> what a good game. <laughs> Thoroughly mysterious. Completely insane. Out of control. But it's awesome. So, so, dare we venture into Last Half of Darkness 3? Let's do it.